is one of Madame Chapon Race's bi-weekly sailboat races, and Charlie has invited Rob to team up with him on his hair shop. It's a short dinghy ride from Impossible Dream to the pond where Charlie keeps his boat. Hey, Charlie, what's up? Hey, who wants to go sailing? We do! All right, let's live the dream. <laughs> let's do it. Impossible Dream Catamaran is a wheelchair accessible sailboat. She was designed from the keel up to be universally accessible. Our mission, to raise awareness for barrier-free design and through sailing, improve the lives of those with disabilities. We sail with a mixed ability crew and each year we take out over a thousand people for day sails. This year, we want you to be part of our virtual adventure. Welcome aboard. Ready for the race. I'm ready to race. You pumped. I'm pumped. Are you nervous? Not nervous. Good. Never nervous. There's the hair shop over there. All rigged up and ready to go. We're almost there. Cushion here, a stack of them Change there for here. Yeah, yeah, maybe a stack here. Yep, a stack there and a stack here. And then when I get did. here, then we get somebody to lift my feet over, somebody to make sure I don't fall into the right, right. center. This is awesome. So I'm gonna bump onto here. We we could do it either way. You could sit here and swing forward, yeah. or you could sit here, here and then transfer back. Okay. Yeah, and then swing your legs forward. Okay, we've done that in the past. Everybody ready? I like it this way too. All right. Good. Okay. I'll, I'll start. Hands from. One, two, three. Nice. One, two, three. Oh. Good. Work. I got you. There you go. I got this foot. Nice. I got this foot. We're in. Nice. Yeah. Whatever you need there. I'll be perfect. Down. All right, the Harishoff 12 and a half, first designed and built in 1914. Still a competitive class on the East Coast. It's really a great adaptive sailing boat. We got this seat we built for it. And, uh, oh, that seat's not standard. No. When I first met Harry and went to Shake Leg, um, I asked him and his crew in his shop about how we design a seat for adaptive sailing for my boat. And I spent the day with them and talked about the possibilities and then I came up with this design and built it and installed it. And we sailed with Rob Klein, we sailed with Rob Summers, my teammate Dick Bluestein. Whoever wants to go sailing, adaptive sailing in this boat, let's go. There's Rob and Charlie on their virgin sail as a crew. Pond and off they go, cruising downwind towards the start line. About to do the first horn to get the race started. They're working on getting their communication good, making sure Rob's strapped in, and getting ready to start.
can note that Charlie and Rob are currently winning the race, heading towards that first buoy. Here they come, crossing the line, Rob and Charlie. The racers, they're all done, sails down, and they're basking in the glory of their success. Second's pretty good. We have to, we have to say that he only raced with one person, and class rules say you have to race with two people. So you guys got first place. So we and got we had first two place people, in so the class, yes. In, in under class rules, no. victory is ours. A best sale ever. Best sale ever. Best day of the best, summer. Best race ever. Best day of the summer. Wait a yeah. second. I've been working all summer. <laughs> So you can have a best day and you here. get on a boat with Charlie Shipway for five best minutes. Best morning and all with of a sudden you. it's Will who? It's no. all about the small boat. I told Charlie that really happy. after winning, after coming in second or really first because we were the ones that uh, followed the rules and had two men aboard, that I felt like a million dollars. But I actually feel like a billion dollars because we beat George Soros' billionaire son in several races.